something completely different now. <laughs> neighbours, everybody needs good neighbours, and no one understands this more than Ramsey Street's longest resident, Luke Carpenter, actor Tom Oliver, joins us. Oh, poor Lou. Tom Oliver, a.k.a. Lou Carpenter, joins us now. And welcome to you. I know. But that's what he's I like. win. He wades in with both feet every time, Absolutely, doesn't he? He's yes. always yeah. been the same right back in 1988 when he first went on to Ramsey Street. And he's and he busted into this wedding. But that was in 88. We're now in 2012. Yes. yes. Did you ever think for a moment back then that you would be the longest living not, No, absolutely there. not. No, because my original contract was for six months with a six-month option on their side. And, Gosh. And uh, I couldn't find the exit door, so I still there. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are. Well, even the... I think it was it 1996 that, uh, that there was a... a 98. Was it 98? Because there was yes. going to be a break, wasn't there? There's this huge public outcry. Well, what happened was the... Uh, there was a script producer who felt that she couldn't, and the team could not do any more with the character of Lou. And they called me into the office on a, on a Tuesday, which rather ticked me off, uh, instead of the end of business on Friday, yeah. and told me that they were dropping Lou. Uh, so I got home that evening and I poured a couple of glasses of wine and I said to the wife, look, uh, sit down, honey, um, they made me redundant today. And she said, you sit down, they made my whole company redundant today. The, the people she oh, was working for. No. So uh, I thought, I must do something about this. So I, I checked the time in England here and I rang Woman's Own magazine, who had just done a, a cover of Caroline Gilmer and I with the newborn baby. And I said, do you want an exclusive? So I, I told them this story of what happened that day. And then I rang inside soap and said, do you want an exclusive? You stir it. Yeah. Can I just say, that's exactly yeah. what Lou would do in Absolutely. that position. Yes. <laughs> do do you like see, you're more similar yes. than we realised. <laughs> I mean, but it worked. It worked, yes. Yeah. And I'm still here. And those other people have left. Moved on to see how <laughs> you survived. You, start, you, you grew up here, didn't you? I'm from Fairham in Hampshire, yeah. 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 And, uh, and, and so... boy up from Fairham, my dear. What took you from <laughs> Fairham? How did you that. end up in, in Australia? I was in the Merchant Navy at 16, but I grew up with horses. I was too big to be a jockey, as I wanted to. Yeah. Uh, but then I discovered Australia in the Merchant Navy, and I, my third trip there, I jumped ship and had three years up in the, way out in the bush. On sheep and cattle stations, when they just used uh, horses and not helicopters and motorcycles yeah. as they do today, they must have. On these huge stations, 44,000 acres was one. Wow, yeah. that must have been amazing. And it was for an 18 year old, that was just one massive adventure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I went my way back to England on the ship. Uh, I went out to the nuclear testing base for a year with the NAFI, tried to hitchhike overland to Australia again, and finished up in India with hepatitis and flown right back where I started from. Have you written a book? I think you should. <laughs> Speak to the girls. They've got good contacts. Well, it's probably already in their bag, I would have thought. <laughs> uh, then I went out as a £10 palm in 1963. Did you really? Wow. Mm. And so, uh, so to have something that is such a great foundation as Lou in your life, mm -hmm. must be that must be great. Great fun, great... I mean, it's been hugely varied, and I would have thought, as I said, great fun. Well, when I f was first offered the role of Lou, I immediately thought of a role I had played about 30 years earlier mm. uh, on a show called Number 96 in Sydney, which changed the face of Australian television mm. because we touched on subjects that were just verboten, yeah. you know, uh, incest, homosexuality, uh, all, all those sort mm. of things. And it opened up a whole new range. But I played this character called Jack Sellers. And when I, I did not like the show when I first saw it. it was, uh, they sent me this script and I thought, look at the big print, it says, Jack gives big dirty laugh. And I decided to send it up a bit, and I thought, who's got the dirtiest laugh I know? Sid James. Sid James. And so when I was offered Lou years and years later, Lou is rather like the son of Jack. Yeah. So I brought the laugh with me. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one. Congratulations <laughs> last night, by the way. Thank you very much. You yes. won the, it was the best daytime soap award, yes. wasn't it, inside yes. Soap Awards. So yeah. congratulations. Thank was you. it a good night? It was a very pleasant night, yes. A lovely people. Uh, it's great to have you here, and uh, and thank you so much for coming in. Neighbours, of course, weekdays at five thirty on uh, on Channel Five, and you don't do much, so we uh, we appreciate that yes, we uh, you came in to see us today. Thank My you pleasure. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you.